Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Between Bells with Brad Smith. I'm Baker Machado, and we're already in day four of the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang. Things are heating up. They are lit as can be. The American figure skating team took home a bronze last night after a number of memorable performances, including Adam Rippons. So both some good and some bad ones that happened last night. So here to break it all down for us is our friend James Yoder, CEO and founder at Chat Sports. Great to have you on, James. So let's talk about last night. One of the big events was the team figure skating event that I watched last night. Adam Rippon and Mariah Nagasu had really amazing performances. She was one of only three Olympic skaters that have ever hit that triple axle right. that we learned so much about from Tanya Harding's new movie that's out right now. So how big of a deal is it to hit this triple axle? Well, I mean, it's phenomenal. Just think about only a handful of human beings have ever done it in history. And she did it uh, after really an eight-year absence. She didn't compete in the Olympics four years ago. So to come out opening weekend and uh, and hit that was huge. And it really was what people were talking about over the last you know, 24 hours or so. It's really been the driving story uh, of the Olympic Games. You noted Tanya Harding. Uh, that's something I haven't seen her movie yet. So uh, that's one thing I learned over the weekend. Tanya Harding hit it in the 1991 uh, Olympic trials of the United States. States, but uh, this is the first woman uh, to do so in the Olympics of the States, so it's, uh, it's a pretty big deal. And is Nagasu a contender for a medal as well uh, in the individual event? Well, in the individual, I mean, she has to be. Now, she didn't. Uh, there was a 15-year-old Russian skater who took the uh, the top prize in the team event, uh, so she didn't necessarily perform at the highest levels. But you think being able to hit a, uh, a move like that, the triple axel, uh, has definitely got to put her in position to do so. I don't think she was definitely on the highest contender list. There were some other people that I think were more uh, sought after or more uh, anticipated to win that one. But uh, she's definitely in the, in the runnings now. People are going to be talking about her. And when she does that individual event, that's going to be the watch event. Uh, I think of this first probably Olympic. I guess think maybe the whole Olympics probably actually as I think about more of what storylines are developing. That's going to be one that everyone's going to be talking about as we come up on it. Uh, and Adam Rippon, who I just met, I uh, mentioned a few moments ago, had a beautiful skate last night. Really an impressive performance last night. He actually placed third last night, winning bronze in the team skate, uh, less than essentially a point away from second place. But Nathan Chen is one of the things we've been talking about a lot. He's the young yeah. American that everybody keeps saying, you can't miss him. He's amazing. He's going to be doing amazing things. And he had a disastrous attempt yesterday. His first skate yesterday was just, uh, you know, terrible. Um, is, so essentially, is now Adam Rippon the guy that we're all going to be watching now? Well, I mean, Rippon is definitely the one that has become uh, a name to know because he's an openly gay athlete, because of the words he had uh, about Vice President Mike Pence and wouldn't want to talk to him, wouldn't want to address him. Uh, and then he gave the memorable interview yesterday saying that uh, that he needed a Xanax because he was so nervous. And so he's kind of become this name out of nowhere. It's really interesting what he talked about, how he got motivated for this year's Olympics, was that four years ago he was watching it eating uh, in and out Burger with a friend because he didn't make the Olympics. And now to kind to come out uh, being under the spotlight of being an openly gay athlete and the comments about the vice president and perform like he did. I mean, at my household last night, we were talking about him. That was the uh, the topic of conversation. Mm -hmm. But as far as Chen goes, uh, first Olympic Games, 18 years old, comes out, tries some you know, riskier moves, some more difficult moves, and as you guys said, fairly disastrous. Now, he's going to have a chance to come back in the individual, but as far as the team performance, he let the United States down big time, and so that's why they got a bronze. I don't think anyone thought they were would win over the Canadians necessarily, but uh, to get the uh, the bronze instead of the silver that the uh, the OAR, the Russian contingent, got it, I think is, is a big disappointment for the Americans. Yeah, look, all in right now, the U.S. is fifth in the medal mm -hmm. count. Um, you know, how does this compare to years past? I, I watched the snowboard, the women's slope style event no, last fun. night, and we did get uh, a, a gold medal there as well. So uh, all in, how does this compare to years past this early on? Well, usually the Americans are down a little bit this early on because it's a, it's a volume play once we get into more events. And there hasn't been that many medals given out. But uh, if they're in fifth place later in the week, I think uh, there'll be some eyebrows raised for sure once you get into uh, you know double and potentially triple-digit medals uh, as far as the ones that have been awarded. But four days into it, I wouldn't be freaking out if you're a fan of the American Olympics or even if you're someone uh, on the American Olympic Committee. But uh, by this time next week, I do expect them to be in the top three uh, you've got some events, most notably tonight, that uh, the Americans should 
place, you know, potentially gold, but uh, definitely have the opportunity to rack up some more medals over the next few days. So seven days from now, about halfway through the Olympics, I expect them to pop up into the top three, four, whatever, but uh, definitely not going to be number five if things go as planned. Well, look, where they're absolutely winning right now is on the trending items on Twitter in terms of Chloe Kim yeah. eating ice cream as well. Uh, <laughs> look, is this one of the most noteworthy events that's taken place in the Olympics, the Winter Olympics over the past couple of years? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. She's going for a, a medal tonight. I think that's what I'll be watching for. Anybody who's watching the Olympics tonight should uh, should be keeping their eyes on. And she has the opportunity with a big performance tonight to jump over some of these skaters that we've been talking about doing their triple axles. She could potentially be the star of the Olympics after tonight's performance should she get a gold medal. So uh, it's been fun. I'll tell you, there have been more stories over the first four days of this Olympics than I anticipated uh, from the sports perspective. You've got uh, some disappointments appointments uh, on, on the figure skating side then you've got a couple of emerging stars and uh, some of america's biggest stars have yet to even perform so a lot of stuff going on still almost two weeks left in the olympic games a lot of things to look forward to for sure you're so absolutely right there's been so many storylines in just four days in and none of them of course have been off the off the off of the competitions like they were at the previous olympics like right. we were getting with ryan lochte uh you mentioned some yep. of the, the events that are happening tonight what events should we be keeping our eye out for tonight that you're interested in Yes, I was just looking at the schedule. I mean, the, the biggest one tonight is definitely Chloe Kim going for gold uh, in the uh, the women's half pipe final. So that is the, I was just mentioning it, the opportunity for her to just jump onto the scene as the star of this Olympics. If she takes gold, she's already won. We've already seen what she's done at a 16-year-old uh, in the X Games, the Winter X Games a couple years ago. Now, you know, as an adult, what can she do? Can she win that gold medal? Then tomorrow will be a big one, women's hockey fit, uh faces off tomorrow against the OAR, the uh, the contingent of Russians that are competing in the Olympics uh, under that OAR, uh, um, you know, I guess, name that they've given them. Um, and that, that should be a big event to look forward to Tuesday. But for Monday right now, it's the half pipe. It's Chloe Kim, and she's going to uh, have all eyes on her when it comes to the Olympics and uh, and really the, the hopes and dreams of all of America, whether she could be the breakout star of this Olympic Games. Yeah, the question I think I get asked the most is, what is this OAR? Who is this OAR yeah. that's competing and it's doing so well in all these <laughs> events? Hmm, I don't know. It must be a new country. James Yoder, great to have you on as always, CEO over at Chat Sports.